It's time to get my laser removal treatment done. This is the 15th session. I've been coming back for more pain because I guess I like it. So let's go get it. A lot of people ask me how many sessions have I done to remove my tattoos and believe it or not I just had my 15th session so I know a lot of people say oh my cousins neighbors uncles sister they only had three sessions and their tattoo was gone okay so yeah good for them if that actually did happen but tattoos they're different for each person and also it depends if it was professionally done or not so it wasn't mine were all professionally done you know that's why it's taken a while to get them off but hopefully the one on my back this looks like that's it 15 sessions and it's done the ones on my front on my chest they still need a couple more sessions so i'm gonna keep going and let's actually walk and talk so when people hear that i done 15 sessions they always tell me, oh, you're being ripped off. What are you doing? No, you gotta go somewhere else. And actually, no, I 100% trust San Diego Tattoo Laser Removal. Okay, I have a package deal. So no matter how many times I go in there to get a treatment, it's all one price. So I paid one time up front and that's it. I don't pay anymore. So it would be better for them if they just knocked it out in one session, two sessions, or three sessions. So no, I don't feel like I'm being ripped off. I actually enjoy coming here and you know getting the service done and they're taking their time and they're doing it the right way. Yeah, like I said, you know, oh my cousin's uncle sister's you know wife's neighbor, you know, they only did this many sessions and they got it done. Hey, you know maybe they got their tattoo you know done in the garage or something it's not professional you know maybe they went lighter the tattoo artist didn't go as hard i don't know but i do know that i 100 percent you know trust san diego tattoo laser removal i'll put their information below actually if you want to check them out i do not get anything uh from you know sending them people i got a rolls royce over here no so that was I do not get a commission from anybody going there. I just want to share my experiences. And if you like it, you could go there. You know, if you don't, you don't have to go there. I know a lot of people are watching from different areas, so you can't go there even if you did like it. But I'm gonna put their information down below. The number one question by far I get about laser tattoo removal is, does it hurt? Does it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> At all. <laughs> it was good and it hurts it hurts like there's no sugar coating i did make a video on how to make it less painful and i'll link it below if you guys want to check it out so that's the seven steps in making it feel better but it still hurts and some ask me okay does it hurt more than getting a tattoo you know does it hurt less and i say some of it actually hurts more than a tattoo but the thing is the laser treatment it lasts less time Okay, so like the one on my back, the big tattoo on my back, it took like three hours to get. And once I go in for a session, it usually takes like five or six minutes. This time was real quick because it was just certain spots. I'd say it was less than three minutes this time, but usually it's around the six minute mark. And you know, you're in pain for those six minutes, but it's nothing like three hours when I was getting it put on. So, you know you can do it don't think that oh you know i'm a baby you know i don't want it i don't want no more pain you can do it if you got it on there you could get it taken off okay so my back i just got certain spots touched on it wasn't my back is like it's almost gone the tattoo on my back that is it's almost gone i just needed a couple spots and on the top of the tattoo it was okay but once he got to the bottom of the tattoo, for some reason, certain spots hurt more than others. So it hurt. It felt like my skin was getting carved out at the back middle area. So, I mean, just take a look. I think I kept my composure on uh, the tattoos on the front. Yes, they did hurt, of course, 
but uh, I think I kept it together. I don't think it hurt as much as like, say like the, I don't know, the third, fourth and fifth session. It hurts less now that there's less ink, even though they keep turning the, the laser up. So, you know, keep that in mind, you know, that way when you're going through your removal process that the longer the process goes, the less it hurts. I want to show you guys how it looks before I got the laser tattoo removal started. So this is what it looks like before. This is after the first session. After the second session, you know, you can see the shade disappearing after the third session. Here's the fourth, fifth, sixth session. Seven session, eight, nine, ten. Here goes eleven. Session twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and this right here is right before my fifteenth session. This is today, and as you guys could see, it's slowly but surely working. And you know, I'm just, I just want to get it off. So I'm headed home right now. It's going to be a uh, part of the healing process, which usually takes a couple days. I'd say within the first 48 hours, first two days, it's going to be real red. I'm going to apply aloe vera on it and that's going to help with the, you know, the burn. It feels like a sunburn for the first two days. So that's what I'm feeling right now, actually. So I can't wait to throw some aloe vera on it, make me feel a little better. And then I put, um, I'm supposed to put non-scented lotion, but I've been putting uh, uh, cocoa butter does smell good but I don't do it because of the smell I do it because it lasts longer keeps your skin nice and moisturized it's been about four months since my last session and believe it or not the more time you wait in between sessions the more your tattoo fades so yeah you want to remove the tattoo as soon as possible especially like me when I first started I was getting the sessions every six weeks you're not supposed to do it before six weeks you know you have to wait six weeks before your next session but then I started spacing them out more and I could notice they disappear more so if you're strapped for cash and you you know you don't have that much money to be spending on session after session you could actually uh, waiting a longer time in between sessions helps out a lot actually I am so relieved I'm done with my session for today I usually get nervous, but I didn't get nervous today until uh, probably like right before I got there. Right before I pulled up, I was doing okay, and then I got a little nervous when I pulled up. But usually, I think about it all day long, so I don't know, it's kind of like a, a mind thing, but this time around, I was okay. I wasn't all stressed out like I normally am. I want to let you guys know about a video I have with the owner of the San Diego Laser Tattoo Removal, Mark, and we actually sit down, I ask him the most frequently asked questions, we do a little Q&A, you know, he answers everything, and those are the questions that I get over and over again in the comment box below. So if you guys are still unsure, if you guys have any questions, I'm going to link that video below so you guys can go and check that one out. I want you guys to ask me whatever questions you have as far as laser tattoo removal goes and I will try to answer them the best I can. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.